so I'm just, I'm just right now. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Um, so we're going to do a lesson on the Cloud Watchers. I'm Ashley. I'm Maria. And so I have a question for all of you. What do you guys think of? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I, <laughs> what do you all think of when you hear the word clouds? Does anyone have any guesses? For example, when I hear of the word clouds, I think of rain. Okay. Shapes. White and fluffy. Yeah, those are all very good answers. So some common misconceptions um, that pertain to clouds it's, is that clouds move when we move. In reality, clouds actually move because of the wind. Clouds are soft like the cotton balls. Um, in reality, clouds are actually made up of water droplets, not cotton balls. And then the third one is why do clouds look white like cotton balls? And the answer is because the light that goes through the water makes the clouds that clouds make our eyes see it in that color. And then the Arizona Science Standards. So what this means is that um, all of your teachers have a goal for you, for all of you. And so our goal for today is that we will be able to help you collect, analyze, and interpret data to explain weather and climate patterns. There's two components that make up this goal, otherwise known as a science standard. And so it's broken up into E1 and U1. So the E1 portion states that the composition of the earth and its atmosphere and the natural human processes occurring within them shape the earth's surface and its climate. The U1 portion states that scientists explain phenomenon using evidence obtained from the observation and or scientific investigations. Evidence may lead to developing models and or theories to make sense of phenomena. As new evidence is discovered, models and theories can be revised. So now it's time to sit back and relax. I'm going to be reading a book called Clouds by Anne Rockwell, and it's illustrated by Fran Lissac. Um, this is it. Look up at the sky. Do you see white or gray shapes moving across it? Those are clouds. Most clouds are too far away to feel. You can only look at them. But there is one kind of cloud you can feel standing on the ground. That is fog. It's the lowest kind of cloud. You can all learn a lot from looking at clouds. The shape of clouds and whether they are dark or bright can tell you how high they are and what kind of weather they will bring. All clouds are made up of water and particles of dust too small to see. The highest clouds are six to nine kilometers up in the sky. That is three to four miles high. It's so cold up there that all the water in those clouds freezes and become tiny crystals of ice. There are three kinds of clouds high up in the atmosphere. Cirrus clouds, cirrostratus clouds, and cirrocumulus clouds. The beginning of the cloud's name tells us how high up it is. The next part tells us what shape it is. Cirrus clouds are hardly there. They look like wispy white feathers trailing across blue sky. They mean sunny weather with no rain. They are far apart and let the sun shine on the earth. Cirrus clouds can cover the whole sky. They tell us that it may rain or snow in 12 to 24 hours. Stratus means clouds that are flat and spread out like a blanket. Small puffy white clouds scattered across the entire sky are cirrocumulus clouds. Cumulus means that a cloud is rounded instead of flat. Cirrocumulus clouds can mean it's going to get colder. Clouds in the middle layer of Earth's atmosphere are two to six kilometers, about one or four miles away. There are two kinds, altostratus 
and alto cumulus clouds. Many alto stratus and alto cumulus clouds are part water and part ice. Only some of the water freezes in these middle, middle clouds because the atmosphere closer to Earth is warmer. Alto stratus clouds are gray, blue, and streaky and cover the night sky. They tell you it could rain that night or the next day. Also, cumulus clouds look like ocean waves, puffy, white, and gray. If you see them on hot, humid days, a thunderstorm will probably come. Two clouds are about 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles above, above Earth. They are called cumulus stratus, stratocumulus, nimbostratus, and cumulonimbus clouds. Cumulus clouds look like white puffs of cotton. They may pile up high like mountains in the sky. They are most often seen on bright sunny days. Stratus clouds are gray and cover the whole sky. They usually mean rain, but not much. Stratocumulus clouds are gray and look like a row of fuzzy lumps hanging low in the sky. Rain doesn't fall from these clouds. Endostratus and cumulonimbus clouds both tell you they will be they will be very wet or even stormy weather. Nimbo or nimbus in the clouds name means it is a storm cloud. Nimbostratus clouds are dark gray and ragged looking at the bottom. Rain or snow falls steadily from them. The scariest clouds are cumulonimbus clouds. If you are standing under them, they will look dark gray instead of white. Sometimes they look almost black. They seem to swell as they climb together higher and higher into the sky. If you see cumulonimbus clouds in the sky, you should run inside as fast as you can. They mean a thunderstorm is coming, and thunderstorms can be dangerous. Sometimes balls of ice, called hail, fall from cumulonimbus clouds. Sometimes dangerous funnel-shaped tunnels of wind, called tornadoes, grow out of them. If there were no clouds, Earth would be very, a very different place. Clouds are important to everything that lives and grows here. They bring the rain all plants and animals need. If there were no clouds, there would be no rain. Nothing could live. If there were no clouds to hide the sun, Earth would be very hot during the day and very cold during the night. The temperature change would be too much for most plants and animals to live and grow. Sometimes you see more than one kind of cloud in different parts of the sky at the same time. That's because the wind is blowing away some clouds and bringing in new ones. This means the weather will change. Now that you know which clouds bring rain or snow, which bring storms and which bring sunny weather, you can tell in advance what the change will be. That's what scientists call meteorologists do. More than half of Earth is always covered with clouds, even though you may not see it anywhere you live, but somewhere else on Earth, someone else is looking at clouds in the sky above. The end. So some vocabulary to take in mind as we read the book is clouds. So it's a large collection of very tiny droplets of water or ice crystals. Uh, the seasons have a lot to do with the different clouds that are out in the sky. Um, there are four different types of seasons during the year, which includes fall, winter, summer, and spring. And then the weather, it's also the state of a place and time reg regarding dryness, heat, cold, sunshine, wind, rain, and snow, and if it's going to be cloudy or not. Uh, Cumulus clouds are flat bases and are described as puffy, fluffy, or cotton-like. Cirrus clouds are characterized by being thin and like wispy strands. And lastly, stratus clouds are low-level cloud. Clouds usually seem to like rain. So let me look at this for today. Um, that you all will be able to do is that students will be able to identif identify patterns, stability, and change system structure and functions. Um, we'll be able to observe and ask questions about the patterns of the motion in the sky and understand how clouds are made and how they are in the sky.
Um, all right, so we're gonna have an angry question of how do clouds make the weather change? Um, so keep that in mind while we go through the activity. Uh, first, everyone will be need, will need to get out three pieces of paper, a pencil, and uh, color pencils or crayons or markers, whatever you have. I'm gonna give everyone a second. All right, so we're going to first go over the safety procedures. Um, so make sure that the students do not stick the materials in their mouth. Do not put any markers or crayons in your mouth. Do not poke yourself with a pencil and watch out for paper cuts. Uh, and do not erase too hard that you rip the paper. So step one, we're going to get one sheet of paper. And we're going to lay it portrait style, so just like this. And then we're going to make three columns. So. We're doing four sections after you make that. And then on the top left, you're going to put cloud height um, and then the name of the cloud so uh we have we're going to look at the names of the clouds and then we're going to write uh what type of weather it will be in uh after that we're going to either label them first high on the first um, section, and then medium, and then low at the bottom. And then we're gonna write uh, on the right column what kind of weather comes out to be. And in the middle, we're just drawing um, an example of how the weather is. So this is how it's gonna come out. If you look here, this is, should be your end result. And then I drew up the same here. You want to look at it. Um, it's not as fancy. And we're going to go to the results. We have cumulus clouds. So when it's in high weather, you can see that it gets colder. And then when it's at medium like level, or yeah, medium level, um, it's usually around thunderstorms and um. Once you get to a lower level, it's usually pretty much sunny. So that's for cumulus. And then when we go to stratus clouds, we have, um, when they're high, it's usually raining or snowy. So that's the picture right here. Uh, and then when they're in medium height, it's usually raining. And then at a low level, it's usually just a little bit of rain, so a light sprinkle. And then curious clouds, uh, they're usually sunny or dry. And they're only in high levels, so you would be able to leave medium and low blank or just draw an X through it. So I'm going to give everyone a second to just copy down everything, and then we can go on to the next step. Alrighty, so we are going to look at what is the science behind all these clouds. So the clouds form when water vapor stays stuck on the atmosphere. The higher the cloud, the colder the water gets. Therefore, they create snow. Um, cumulus clouds form a condensation. Uh, that's where condensation is, occurs. And stratus clouds form a, in calm, stable conditions when gentle breezes raise cool, moist air. Um, and curious clouds form from sensation or condensation or of condensation through dry air. 
So now we're going to go back to the inquiry question that I told you before the activity. And now I want you guys to answer either in the chat box or speaking out loud on how do clouds make the weather change? I'll give you guys a second. Yeah, so how Ashley said, um, it depends on how high or low from the ground um, they make the weather change. And Francis said, we can block the heat and the light from the sun. Yeah, so um, it really, uh, you guys did very well on it. Um, so it is really on the height of where they're at, on um, either if they're going to make snow, rain, or if they're just going to make a cooler day or a hotter day. Um, so you're right, and then what kind of clouds they are too. So you guys did very well, and that was the end of our lesson. Yay. Good job, you guys.